Vi har blevet nu kommet vi på at få det spillet. Vi har fået ekspis til at komme via en nummer team. Og... Om man har taget lige gøjt så til Plano Cavio. En tower, jeg tænker ikke er Plano Cavio. En tower, fordi vi vinder det game, fordi vi har plejet til Trio Q. Om KS. Men i Plano Cavio Power Punch, jeg tænker, at I skal aktivere den setting. Move aim follows movement direction. Det er virkelig godt. Jeg vil også gerne stikke, når I spiller attack weight, fordi stikking er virkelig værdig med Plano Cavio. Det har høj attack weight value. I already got two stacks. You wanna contest this? You wanna wait until the enemy hits it? Meteor Mage into, into Quick Attack. You always use Meteor Mage to stun enemies and then Quick Attack inside the enemies. Enemies are 3 OQ, so the mute is gonna come top lane 100%. So right now what you can do is just ping your teammate that he can come on top lane and then play it slowly. Like if you face check him, like I don't even know the abilities. I think this is the ability where it uh, drags you in. So I'm gonna play slow. I'm gonna try to get the small beast, and then I'm gonna leave. Don't fight him. He's just gonna one shot you. The one important thing about when you play against Mewtwo is, uh, Mewtwo gets stacks when he auto attacks you. So when he when he charges his stacks, then um, he gets his um, how's it called? One second. I need to focus. Got it. When he charges his stacks, he's getting his mega form. The only way he gets mega form is by auto attacking you. So try to avoid fighting him. I mean like Wato Shifu is kinda gapping him. Oh. So yeah. And like initially what you wanna do is like you wanna fight for the middle beast, but because the enemies are entering right now and your Shifu was coming, you just try to fight them and then you try to kill them and get more stacks. Because like right now I'm in a really bad spot. If I don't stack now, it's gonna be so bad for us. I stack on the stack. This is really good. I would have been like starving at two stacks the entire game. Like it's fine if you die here right now. I mean like you give a lot of XP but you really wanna get your stacks. Get your like four stacks or six stacks. If you get six stacks it's just like really easy to play the game. So Like what? I, like my thought process right now is like they're gonna break the top lane point, so like the Albinos will spawn. You wanna take the Albinos, they will probably take the uh, top lane objective as well. But you wanna, you wanna, you don't really wanna go top lane right anymore. You wanna play for the bottle objective and get the bottle objective. Because if you lose both objectives, it's really bad for you. Especially if you play Power Punch to Kario, it's a secure build. Like you play Power Punch to Kario to secure objectives and have high pressure, like. I kill, kill pressure. So one is top lane, there are two bot lane, he's playing E-Speed. They're trying to... Also, like when you play Power Punch to Kavio, the way you play it is you punish the enemies. Like, let the enemies come to your teammates and then Power Punch them away from your teammates. You shouldn't engage with Power Punch. Look for opportunities and punish enemies. Charging, and then Power Punch, and then Secured. Power Stacks gives you more secure range. That's why I think stacking is really valuable on this character. And also, it's just really good to have stacks in Lucario. Ultimate has high stacking uh, value. Power Punch has high stacking value. And I mean like everything about Lucario. This angle is popping off. Like, like, it's so cringe. Like, the comeback experience machining in this game is so bad. I mean, it's like, like not bad, but... Like, the Lapras is level 10 already, just by killing the A9. Because A9 got like a quadra kill with a high XP. Like, this A9 is really good. A lot of fighting in this game. What? I got succeeded by the ice ice beam. Oh my god. Keep that in mind guys. When the ice beam is on the field, don't stack on it. <laughs> Actually succeed me. Okay. Yeah. You always wanna get your top player albinos. 11 is your power spike on power punch. Because you get your unstoppable. 
which is pretty good. I think the biggest issue about power punch is it, it can get cancelled. Like, wait, I can't talk. It can get cancelled. Like, Ushifo, for example, Wicked Blow, it can't get cancelled. Once you press Wicked Blow, it will go out. But with Power Punch, a small CC can stop your Power Punch from securing objectives or killing enemies. So keep that in mind as well. I think Lapos is ultimate on top lane. We just wanna go for this objective. We can't really out secure me. So you just... Oh! Hope you. Oh my god, this ice beam. Did you see that? Like the ice beam was on the field. I charged my power punch to secure. And the ice beam stunned me mid air. Oh, it's so annoying. And I'm like, I'm not the best to carry you, but I wanna like make you the carry video because you guys like, suggested it. But I also wanna think, I think the character is pretty good. So I wanna learn it a bit. Look, like the slow is ultimate, so just avoid them, just try to run away from them. Oh god. This is bad. Ah, oh, double ultimate into me. Like, my thought process was like to kill the Lucario and run away, but because he escaped, I tried to ego him for no reason. Like when you have a comfy on you, you need to be like slow because like, especially if you play against a slow bro, it's a double kill for the enemies. I wanna be level 13, I have 4 stacks. I get so bad. Like usually when you play solo key, you can get stacks, but if you play against a trio key, it's like a bit harder. If you really wanna win for stacks, I would recommend you to um, not farm too much in the lane. I actually thought I can kill them here with my ultimate. Didn't do that much damage from my profile. Like usually you can play Muscle Band, Floatstone. Muscle Band, Floatstone, Razor Claw, or Amplifier when you play Power Punch build. But you always wanna go attack with a weakness policy. This combination is pretty good uh, for Lucario. And it's also pretty good on uh, Zoroark. I think we want to go for level 14 here, into having ultimate. The Mewtwo... I actually don't know what this Mewtwo's cooldown is for the ultimate. I think Mewtwo has no ultimate. For do is dunking bot lane, so we will probably... struggle really hard. The enemies are dying, Storbo is dead. Doesn't move speed demon. You wanna get the enemies and then you wanna flip it. Again, I see wind. Oh my god. Like. Oh my god, it's scary. Like, what? I'm getting CC'd so much! By everything! <laughs> It's so unlucky. Okay, the Lucario is face checking him, so Lucario is instantly dead. Just Mewtwo is not getting any stacks and we should be fine. But like we have a slow bro as well in the A9. So maybe we can change to see them. It's gonna be like a uh, try to secure angle with Comfy. This slow bro is gonna die here. If I secure this, we win the game. I got it. Nice. I'm the only one with shield though. He comfy has a shield so I can run away and score with him. Like I'm getting slowed by so much. Yeah! No, Comfy! Why did you jump out? Comfy, please! Let's go! 
Why did you jump out? I actually wanted to go bottom with you. Oh, tilt it. I think we would have lost anyways. He actually just jumped out. I had ultimate. Oh. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna upload this on YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and like the Lukaku tips I gave. I wanna get, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Oh my god, this comfy troll so hard. Like I had ultimate soon, I wanted to go bottom with her.